what we're going to do now, we're going to look at the, the final aspect of the backhand driving, which now goes into backhand topspin drive. Now there's a, a couple of things we need to be looking at, uh, and when, when we do the explanation and the demonstration, you will probably, you'll see the difference. Straight away now, a fast punch ball as a drive will not win points against very, very good experienced players. We're going to have to have something different. We need more spin, we need more length, and we need the ball to be kicking a little bit more into the opponent. How do we do that? One, we go back to the basics of the first one, bottom of the bat, level with the table. Second, we don't go at the ball, we'll let the ball come to us. Third, we have that angle is very, very shallow towards the net, and when we bring the bat into the ball, the wrist is at a broken angle, right? So what we need to do at that stage, when we commence a stroke from the elbow into the ball, just moments before we actually make contact with the ball, we straighten the wrist and we go straight through the back of the ball. The shallowest of the angle will give the, the, with the ball depth and low, keep it low, but we also want to be trying to concentrate and trying to hit the ball in the back third of the table at the far side. We don't want to be looking to hit our ball in the middle of the opponent's side. Regardless of the speed or spin that's on the ball, that's an easy ball to control back and we don't want that to happen. So we need to push as much length onto this ball as we possibly can and that comes through using our wrists and keeping the ball very, very quick through the elbow. So if we're going to use the wrist in the stroke, when the ball is, when the ball is coming from our opponent to me, my bat will be in the position but my wrist will be broken. The other two was the wrist was straight and the elbow went slightly forward to square the bat up behind the ball because I didn't need any movement in my wrist. All I wanted was the bat square behind the ball. And from that position, I released the elbow for the forearm and the bat went through the ball and it gave it drive and topspin. This time, that's no good. I need to keep the elbow down slightly. I need to bring, bring the bat square behind the ball by bending the wrist. I now wait for the ball to come to me and I commence a stroke still with my wrist broken. And once I'm going to release the ball, I release the wrist as well through the elbow at the same time. Keeping the bat shallow, not up, keeping the bat shallow, so it gives it very, very, it gives a long stroke on the end of the table, it keeps the ball low over the net and it gives a maximum amount of topspin on the ball, which gives it a tremendous amount of kick for the ball to bounce on the table into our opponent. We'll go to the basic one. Basic one, you'll see where it's bouncing on that side of the table. Can you see where it's bouncing? Basically in the middle of the table, yeah? Just going past maybe. That's what I'm looking for when I'm starting to play the basic. Now when I start to go intermediate, right? It's going a bit quicker, but it's bouncing roughly in the same line of the table, same line of the table. Now I'm going to go a little bit longer with the wrist. And you will see now, the ball now starts to go faster and longer in the air. But it's a lower trajectory. So we're now going to go one, two, and three. Now, what's happening now, what's happening now is the actual practice is starting to break down a little bit. That one, perfect. It's starting to break down a little bit because the wrist, to use the wrist, is a, is a most difficult weapon to use in table tennis. And you have to have hours and hours and hours of practice to make sure that it contacts square behind the ball once you bring the wrist back into position. And that's why, in my coaching experience, I always find that leave the wrist playing in backhands till the last point. Then the player then can actually do with confidence what he wants to do.